and um, you have all your account numbers. Do you guys do any? Um, do you guys do any uh, direct bills, or do you do mostly just commercial sold to you? Uh, mostly commercial. Okay, and do you have account numbers for other uh, for the people you do direct bills for? Uh, no, I do not. Okay, well that's okay. I mean, you can get them as you need them, or you can just use the end user when you send up the uh, when you send up the order. You can just send the end user, and they'll figure out what the account number is. Okay. Okay. So we're gonna start here in the administrator. And what we're going to do is we're going to set up your account number for your division, and we're going to also put in the Kimball PIN numbers for your salespeople. Okay. Okay. So why don't you go ahead and log in there? Okay. And we're going to go here to – oh, actually, let's take your KII number first. So we're going to look you up first. Okay. Okay. And so it's going to be this KII number and then your password. Uh, okay. that you log into order exchange and plug in. Okay, so right here, OFDA EDI settings. Okay. There's Kimball right here. So you're, we're going to take that KI number, and uh, I'm going to actually cut this part out of the video. Okay, so, but we are going to take your KI number, and we're going to pop it right in your username. And then you'll put in your password that you use to log into uh, Order Exchange Plus in there. And you're the only one that's going to be sending new orders, is that correct? Yes. Yeah. Okay, and that's done? Yep. Okay, we'll go ahead and hit Save here. And then we're going to go in and we're going to put your account number against your corporate division. And this is for getting the acknowledgement. So, okay. Okay, so right here is a Kimball account number. And if you pop that in there, but not my KII number. No, no, no. The account number, your your account number was uh, was Kimball. And so we, you might actually, there's usually three leading zeros. We don't need the leading zeros, just the account number. Okay. If you want, you can log into Order Exchange Plus. Yes, I do need it. And, um, and get unless, it. Uh, yeah. We can also get the Kimball PIN numbers for your salespeople off oh, the okay. website as well. So. Uh-oh. Okay, good. As long as you know it, we're good. Okay, yeah. so <laughs> an account. We're going to have to change that in uh, the the other one, the one we just added, where I just entered it under my uh, KIA. Oh, is that going to be the wrong one? Uh, yeah. Let's go ahead and change that now then. Okay. Okay. Because uh, otherwise it'll... I always forget. Okay, so let's go back here and go ahead and pop that in there. Okay. You can change it at any time, not going to be a big deal. Okay, and I think we're going to see our accounts here. Yep, okay, so this is your account number. So we're mm -hmm. just going to take this and copy it and paste it. We're actually going to put this a couple different places, so we're going to leave this page up. Okay. And go back to the administrator, and we're going to put that in here. Okay, and then we're going to just go to the salespeople, and we're going to uh, we're going to do a pin. Actually, do a notepad here, and we can just save that, so we can get off to that page. Okay, and salespeople, does everybody uh, at your office sell Kimball or? Yes. Okay, so they're all going to have a pin. They all should have a pin, yeah. Okay. Okay, so you see here, there's a place for Kimball pin. No, okay. Okay, so it is required um, for house. If you have a house one or if it's that, that's going to be Jim. Okay. Okay, so we, but this will have to have an account number or a PIN number as well just because it uses it every time that it sends the orders up. Okay. Okay, it, it has to have a PIN. So if we go here to, I think there's going to be a, This isn't for you, my pen, so we don't really want that. Do you have any orders that are in here? Um, I just saw the list, too. Yeah, I think it's going to be. Try site administration. 
There they are. Okay. Oh, these are the pin numbers? Oh, yeah. awesome. Okay. So let me just make this smaller. I'm going to make this smaller so we can do this side by side. Oh, you don't have a pin. <laughs> <Just kidding>. So <laughs> uh, these people are no longer there, right? Correct. Just to check people. Okay, so Bart, 26300. Okay, if I make a mistake, just keep an eye on me, okay, because okay? I tend to have dyslexia sometimes. <laughs> okay, Bob. And House, we'll just put Jim's in there, right? Well, no, use Peggy's. Peggy? Okay. Yeah. She's our sales manager. I'll use her. Okay. And Stuart? And Jim. That's it for sure. Oh, Gary. 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 Gary might not have one yet. Okay. You do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I always have one. Uh, it was just <laughs> because we were doing all that testing, so. Right. If you, uh, eventually I won't, I won't need one. <laughs> Okay, so the PIN numbers are all set up. We've done your account uh, inside the division itself for the acknowledgements. Um, we've done all the, we did the uh, username and password to log into order exchange through the, with the KII number. Mm -hmm. So that's all good. We're now going to go and just set up your OFDA settings. Okay. And down here, OFDA settings. You shouldn't have to do a lot with this. Once you set it up, it's set up. Okay. okay. So we're going to look up Kimball Office. Okay, that's your vendor. And it should be the one that says Corporate Office. I'm not sure because that's where okay. I put all the POs to. Okay, as long as, yeah. So that's the vendor. Yep. That's the vendor on all the part sheets. Yes. Okay. Okay. So that account here. So this is your main account. Okay, contract types. Do you have a CDA number? Um, we do, but it goes by customer, so I don't have like a general one just for us. Okay, so only when you're getting special price or when you get the right. they have pricing. Mm -hmm. Okay, transaction codes. Pull this up. Second. Gotta log into another database here real quick and grab those all the rest of the settings. While I'm doing that actually we can do um we can do this. This can be new order and change. And this is going to be dealer and direct. If you see me type something wrong, let me know. Okay. Direct bill. You know, I am with my capitals. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and transaction types. Just one second while I look this up. So 
so we, oh, this is where change a new goes. Whoops. Okay, so change. Sorry about that. It's all right. Order type is going to be. And I'm sure the mock-up means something to you, right? Mm -hmm. That'll that'll fix itself. Up. This is going to be standard. And we're going to do a new one of cart or replacement. When you do a part or replacement order, you're going to need the QN number and the original sale voting number. You know that, yes? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so that part's done. Basically, what we do here, let me just get rid of this. See what that was. Send it off. Do you have a direct line there or no? No. You do? No, I don't. Just the okay. 442 9, Got to submit that so we can take care of that. Um, okay, so batch entry here. You'll see a Kimball EDI. Okay. Okay. When you go there, it's going to pull up every Kimball purchase order that has not been issued to vendor yet. So, what you're going to want to do initially is just do your layout here. You're going to want to clear these things out that you've already sent mm -hmm. because this list should only have the things that you have not sent yet. So in here is a issue to vendor on. If you fill out that date, um, it'll go away from this list. Okay. Okay. And so initially you'll just want to go and do that. I'm going to also pull in here the order book date so you can sort them by order book date. Okay. And should and I put it, can I put today for issued to vendor on everything or should I do it uh, you can order book you, date? You can if you want to. Um, or order book date. I mean whatever works for you. It's not gonna matter. It's just gonna leave this list. And from now on you'll be sending orders through here, so it'll fill itself out. Okay. Okay. But you'll probably want to look at you know, you wanna sort the we'll sort this um newest to oldest. Mm hmm Okay. So that you know you can go from a certain date back and okay. start filling that out. It looks okay. like some of these have been filled out already, so because um, I'm sure you had orders in between there, in between uh, April and June. Um, probably not. <laughs> uh, I thought you guys were doing a lot of Kimball. We had a, a long streak, and then it it was quiet. Oh, okay. Okay, so um, we've got that. This was sorted by order book date to sending. I save that as your layout. Okay. Mm -hmm. What you do here is if you want to send an order, you double click. I'm going to cut this part out of the video. <laughs> what is it? Let me just load up over here real quick. One second here. Log into your database over here. Okay. See what that problem is. How are the kids? Good. Yeah. Yeah, they're home by themselves this summer. Oh wow! So for the first time. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, are you nervous? <laughs> no, not really. I mean, they're really good kids and they're smart. So. 
not good. I don't you have to worry about that. You don't have to worry about smoking or anything like no. that. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm more worried about other people than them. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm double click in to figure out what this problem is. I'm gonna fix it real quick. Okay, well, that is a bug, so I'm not going to be able to fix it right on the fly, so we'll just try a different one here. Okay. Okay. So you double click on the row, it's going to pull up this blank form. It's only going to be blank when you first are going into a customer. Okay. Okay. Because you see the save default for customer. Mm -hmm. Whatever you fill out in here is going to fill itself out every time you do a purchase order for that customer. Okay. Okay. So here's your bill account and you notice you can actually type in it or choose. Okay. Okay. So if your if your bill account is somebody else, you can just type in the thing if it's not you. Okay. okay, so just the account number. Okay, and ship account, do you have a, oh, you have, probably have another ship account. You gotta set that up too. Um, it depends on where it's where it's going, how much furniture it is, so. Yeah, if we can look for an order in here. Let's see if we can find an order that you placed. Yeah, you should be able to find one. Yeah. Company. Yeah. Tools. Sales are stuff. Let's go to that. You can just search for the last fifteen days, it should be fine. Okay. Okay. Let's go into that. Inside of here is over your ship to account. Inside of the order. We might actually have to do you see an edit anywhere? No, I don't. Okay. Let's uh see if we can do a new new order. You, if you go to order exchange it might you might be able to do it. Okay. I think you can open up. Oh, and change stuff here? Yeah, I believe so. Okay. That pencil, maybe? That gave us the same thing. Yeah. Uh, let's maybe see. I didn't do the pencil. No, you did. It just didn't, it won't let you. Okay. So let's just do a new order here, and we'll get those values here. Okay. And we're going to go to ship to. What's on the next one? Oh, I have to hit next. Yep. So let's just put in that. Test and what's next for next? Account. Yeah, I think it's just here. That's a different account number, so that's why mm -hmm. we have to. And that's your only ship too, right? Yes. And that's uh, unless you're drop shipping it to the customer. Right. Okay. So that's going to go right into your account where the other one went. So we're just going to copy this. And we're going to go back to the OFDA configuration. So anytime you have a new account or whatever, you'll just want to pop it in here. Pick okay. up the vendor. Okay. We're going to go to accounts, and we're just going to do mean ship account. Okay. And we're going to pop that in there. 
And I'm going to go ahead and close this and reopen it. And we'll now have a fill to and a ship to. Okay. Your delivery contact. Um, there you are. Yep. Okay. And that just fills this out. So if you want to do something other than, uh, you can actually just type this. You don't have to choose this. Okay. okay. Uh, delivery request type. Standard delivery is the basic lead time that, uh, that they have, and it puts in today's date mm -hmm. just because that's, uh, we have to have a value. If you're doing ship services, you just check out the ones you're doing. If you're doing pack services, you check out the ones you're doing. Okay. If you have a CDA number or an opportunity number, you can type it in here. Okay. Okay. Your transaction type is new or change. Your bill type is direct or dealer. Your order type is any of these. If you choose part of replacement, these enable and become required. Okay. If you're doing standard order or mock-up, those are uh, enabled or required. Okay. Okay. It's a servicing dealer. It's just going to be your main account and your dealer contact. Okay. So here's what we need to do with this. We need to actually put you or check out this little box for you. And you see where it says add to list of OJ delivery contacts? Mm -hmm. That will that will put you in there in that okay. list. Okay. And since we um, actually don't have, we're just going to put you in here. And the email is uh, your email set up there, right? Okay, that's actually required for the. Okay. Um, again, if you're selling direct, doing a direct, and you don't have the um, and you don't have the account for that direct, you can always uh, do the send end user with that account. Okay. And it will look up the the account number for that direct bill customer. So this would be blank. This would be um, this would be checked. Okay. Okay. This you don't have to fill out unless unless you're not any one of these dealers. If you have to serve the same dealer with somebody else or whatever, just okay. participating in reference dealer. If you're sending out of the country, there will be a port of exit. Okay. And I think you can get that off of order exchange, but that's something you actually type in it's for international orders. Okay. Header tag text is um, if everything's going in the same place. I mean, if we handle that anywhere with our face. So mm -hmm. this would be only if you didn't have any face names and you just wanted to go to all one tag. Okay. okay. And then this is for, you know, if this if the truck can't be over a certain size or whatever. Okay. Okay. And then you just save. Okay. Mm -hmm. So when you go back here, you'll see this has an okay checkbox. So you can only send the ones that are okay. Okay. Oh, okay. So if if you come back in here, this is already still this is all still filled out. If you come back in and you didn't send the yet, but you mm -hmm. still have to double click to, and save to get the okay. Cause it's got to go through a validation process. Okay. Okay. But if you do multiples, if you if you set those uh, things on multiples, then you can you can highlight multiples and send selected. Okay. Okay, so it'll do it'll do one file with a bunch of orders and throw them out there, and you'll get a confirmation. Basically, you, you get you an SCN number for each mm -hmm. one of them, okay. and they'll show you on the screen. You'll also get your email, like you always do, that says your order was accepted or rejected mm -hmm. or whatever. Okay? Right. Down here is get acknowledgments. Okay, and this account, this is where that uh, account number went on the corporate division. You're mm -hmm. going to choose that and Kimball, and then you're going to download. Okay. 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 And if there are any, they'll come in this list and they'll ask you, do you want to process these acknowledgments? So what happens with your processing and those acknowledgments is it checks your quantity, your price, and your options. Okay. Oh, okay. So if the options are off, 
So if, if Kimball has different options on the part than you have, it'll acknowledge the part, but it'll, it'll pull up in the list. You double click on the item, the items in there, if there's more than one, and uh, and it'll show you your options on your PO, Kimball's options on the acknowledgement, and you can choose to keep your own, replace them with Kimball's, uh, or anywhere in between. You can do separate line items. Okay. okay so it's, but um, more, most of the time, you're going to replace with Kimball's. Right. <laughs> right, right. So, uh, but it'll show you them side by side, and there's, there's just a quick little button that you say replace mine with theirs. Okay. okay. So this is this you'd want to do. Um, you'd want to do every time. You know, when you send up an order, it takes what one to two days to get an acknowledgement back. Right. So I would just get in the habit of coming in here every day and doing this. Okay. Okay. But for now, um, go ahead and just um, and you'll see if I double click on this again, it's all filled out. Okay. okay. If I double click on another one, okay, you see this stuff, it saves for you. So, oh, okay. Okay, so you won't have to fill this part out. This mm -hmm. stuff is all the stuff you'll need to fill out. Okay. Okay, but if you save the default for the customer, it will be filled out when you do a new PO for that customer. This will all be filled out, and you'll just hit save. Oh, okay. Okay, that's, that's nice. what this part means here. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I would go in and just you know pop some in. You know you can you can choose one, copy, paste, 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 paste. Right. If you want to, that'd be probably the easiest thing. Mm -hmm. Okay, and just get rid of all these because you sent all these orders now, right? Right. Okay, so um, just pop that issue to vendor in. Uh, and on all these, so it's blank. Mm -hmm. And then when you have a new one, you'll come in here, and it'll just be whatever you have not sent yet. Okay. Okay. If you want to call in on your first uh, sending, that's fine. Or you okay. can try it yourself, and then. But I know you're connecting because we wouldn't have gotten the no acknowledgments at this time. Okay. Message here, so I know that you are connecting to their web server. Oh, good. Okay. That's Great. it. Nothing Easy. more. Yeah, so like I said, just remember that on the direct bills, you can just say send end user, and they'll figure out what the account is. If you can get the account, right, it's obviously going to be easier. They don't have to look it up. You actually get your results faster if you do it that way, uh -huh. if you have the account number. So, All right? Perfect. That's it. All right, thank you so much. Nice, and, thank uh, you. Yeah, and I will talk to you later. Okay. Okay, have a good day. Thanks, you too. Bye, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.